that brings us to chapter 47, the final decision. So Card does break the magical hold. He was never actually caught by the second ascension, so he's very well practiced at hiding and was able to blend in. Yay, I like doppelgangers. I do want to stay though, if Carr was able to override Thiessen's magic, that means that doppelgangers are more powerful than relic keepers. It's very true. The Atlas Tortoise and an Atlas Tortoise Arcanus were left in charge of the defense. So Volk goes to sneak into a bunker where the rest of the crew are being held by magic. He retrieves his gear. They end up freeing everybody, but Volk is extremely angry at Adelgis for putting him to sleep and not letting him choose his own path. This is another one of those moments of Volk going like almost scorched earth on Adelgis. Is it the plague? Is it because he's you know, pissed? I mean, I can see both sides of that, definitely. Maybe it's the combination of them. But he, he don't damn near just about a freaking destroys Adelgis. Yeah, Adelgis got lucky. <laughs> Like, <laughs> he, he took down Felicity like he was about to just do him in. Yes. We do find out that there is also an enemy, Ethereal Walker Canist, who was protecting the thoughts. So Adele just couldn't hear other people's thoughts. That was due to the Ethereal Walker Canist. We don't get mention of who was stopping the plague monsters. And I'm really curious what aura that falls into, because that seems pretty powerful. I wonder if the master arcanist because we can assume that this person is an actual master not master devil <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna keep finding ways to get that stuck in there but <laughs> honorary master <laughs> i'm gonna guess that maybe this is the ethereal welk was able to i don't know project some kind of telepathic field that saying you know you have to stay where you are you can't come on land or kind of control, mind control them a little bit it's very possible if Adele just is able to kind of project his voice into others. It's, if a master arcanes could definitely, you know, I would assume they can do something similar. So it could very well also be done through telepathy, which is pretty cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Adelgis is encouraging Volk to live, to fight another day, not chase down Thiessen. He offers up the Kepra again, Volk turns it down again. He doesn't want to butcher the remaining six Kepra that are out there. Um, Adele just does bring up Ilya and Volk is torn on this, but ends up telling Adele just, hey, go warn the fifth guild. They need to know Akiva's coming. They need to know that the Autark is a gold Kirin Arcanist and he's going to stay and fight. And he has this determination of, you know, I've, I'm set in my path. I already have the plague. That's not going to change. So I'm going to do everything I can right now. Hey, he did not read all of those books and all those stories growing up to be a little bitch now. So he, he dang well was going to stick back and do his thing. <laughs> Your time to shine, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to have songs and stories made of him. And thankfully, Luther does back him on this, which I'm really glad. And I expected him to, but we're about to get real Scorched Earth coming up. That concludes, again, that concludes Plague Arcanus. And uh, next week we will be going over, or we'll have the interview with uh, Chad and Shammy for the tabletop game, along with uh, the following week we'll be starting World Serpent Arcanus. Oh my gosh, we are officially halfway through this, through the Frith Chronicles series itself. The books get a lot longer, <laughs> so we actually have a lot more content to cover. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're probably like a third of the way through, but it, it's like the Harry Potter books, okay? The, the the first few are the smaller ones. They hit four, it's like, okay. It's gonna take a little bit longer each time. <laughs> <laughs> Again, once we have the beast area available, we will get work it we'll get that out there. And I think that's it for this week. We'll definitely look forward to seeing everybody next week with the tabletop game and then the following for book five. Eric, Scott, and I want to thank everyone for listening today. We post a new episode every Wednesday morning at 11 Eastern, 10 Central, and 8 Pacific Standard Time. We are on all podcasting platforms and are also on YouTube as well for video. 
After the additional episode airs, we post chapter-by-chapter chapter videos every day in a smaller, easier-to-digest format. We do want to give a special shout-out to the final member of our team, Dan Mackison, one of the admins for the Frith Chronicles wiki, link listed below, and doing his best to keep everything running smoothly behind the scenes. If you want to reach out to us, you could email us at frithguildpod at gmail.com or on Facebook or any other social media by searching for Frith Guild Podcast. Just to remind everybody, we have links to everything in the description below on both the podcast and YouTube. Scott, do you have anything else you want to add this week? We see Volk with his true form and I'm excited to actually see it in play. This is another one of those like little things of just, oh, why do you have to tease us like that? <laughs> he has nothing else. Stay tuned. Everyone loves a cliffhanger, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> All right, thanks, everybody.